everybody. You know, one thing that was very confusing to me when I was learning how to set up my Eosheen Wizard X220, which is what is on the table here, was what's all this talk about PPM, PWM, iBus, SBus, XBus, what is all that stuff? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today because it was very confusing. But basically, and I say that a lot, but basically what it is, what they are, it is a type of language that your receiver uses to talk to your flight controller, which is the brain of the quad. Now, one important distinction I want to make here is that it is different from the wireless radio connection that your transmitter is going to be using to talk to your receiver. So it's what we're talking about here is, is a wired connection going from your receiver to your flight controller. So you, you've got your transmitter here, you're going to send a message, you're going to say, I want to roll right, and then you're going to tell that to your receiver and wirelessly, of course, otherwise you have to have a really long wire, and it's going to go to your receiver, and then your receiver is going to say, okay, I gotcha. It's going to send it to the flight controller, and the flight controller is going to make your quad do what you want it to do. Now the important thing is though, is that you got to make sure that your receiver is talking in the same language to your flight controller. Because if, if I was, if I only spoke and understood German and I was trying to uh, speak to someone who only speaks and understands Japanese, um, we'd have a really tough time communicating. So you got to make sure that they're on the same language. So if your uh, if your uh, flight controller is using is is set up or it can accommodate um, S bus, for example, then you want to make sure that your receiver is set up using S bus. And honestly, I'm not under I don't understand all of the magical wizardry of of all this technology. But sometimes, in this case, uh, you're going to want to go into your um, transmitter interface, you know, configure your transmitter to be using um, iBus or SBus or PPM or PWM <clears throat> or whatever your receiver is using. So that's kind of, that might be more on a case-by-case -case basis, but you want to make sure that all your stuff is speaking the same language. That's the main thing. By the way, if you're wondering what a flight controller is or what a receiver is or what that looks like and all that stuff, check out my video about connecting the FlySky X6B receiver to the Wizard X220 or specifically the SP Racing F3 flight controller and that'll give you a better understanding of what those components look like and how they're connected. At this point you're probably wondering well hey is one better than the other? Is SBus better than IBus or PPM better than PWM or etc etc? Well the short answer for the beginner is no not really. Each one has its own advantages and disadvantages. Some uh, certain brands like to use certain uh, protocols or languages so it kind of depends mainly on what kind of brand of gear you want to use, what kind of radio, uh, what kind of transmitter you want to use, how how uh, your flight controller is set up or how your receiver is set up but the main thing is you just want everything to be speaking the same language so that you can get flying and get up in the air. So in basic terms, it's really all pretty simple. It's just the way that it's just the language or protocol that your flight controller uses to speak with your receiver and vice versa. Again, that's going to be different from your actual transmitter talking to your receiver. But and the way that you can make sure that everything is going to be talking to each other is basically just buy the same brand of stuff. Buy I got a FlySky radio with a FlySky receiver and I know because I've read the manual on the SP Racing F3 flight controller that it is compatible with the uh, with the receiver and I'm using iBus right now and hey let's say you want to learn more about this because you're like okay Adam that was great but that was really basic I know but that's what I'm trying to say it's not really that complicated but it could get really complicated really quickly and if you want to learn more about it Check out two uh, great articles I have in the description below down there and that's that's where I learned most of my stuff here and I'm just trying to kind of sum it up and, 
and throw it out to you as as like a you know the important stuff for the beginner. Anyway, check out those articles. One is by OscarLiang.com. The other one is Drone Test, and I think that they are they do a very good job of of explaining kind of explaining in more details all the different ones as well as telling you about all of the different types of of protocols and, and whatnot and a little bit of history there. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for liking and hey, sharing too. That's always good. Sharing is caring. If you like this video, please give it a likey like and uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more stuff about the Ishin Wizard and getting it set up and quadcopters and RC stuff and everything that's awesome that's outdoors. Thanks for watching. See you next time.